We're going to turn now to the Royals here in America. And this evening, this image, laying a bouquet of white roses at the 9-11 Memorial. And ABC's Amy Robach is covering their visit. Battling the wind and rain, the royal couple making their way to ground zero today. The prince holding an umbrella over his pregnant wife's head, visiting the 9-11 Memorial, where the Duchess laid flowers over the names of the victims with a note signed simply, William and Catherine. A somber stop on a soggy day of sightseeing. William later taking in the view from the top of the Empire State Building. Last night, British royalty meeting American royalty. William and Kate rubbing elbows with Beyonce and Jay-Z, sitting courtside for the big game, waving at the kiss cam and joking afterwards with LeBron James. What size shoe are you? twice the size. I got to get you some, man. And then there was the hug. King James draping his arm around the princess. A royal no-no? Palace sources say it's not. And perhaps the royals have grown used to American affection. After all, in 2009, First Lady Michelle Obama did hug the queen. And last night, Duchess Kate just went with the moment. And we are here at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The final stop, a star-studded gala for the royal couple raising funding for their alma mater. And from here, it is straight back to the airport, across the pond, and a beautiful reunion with little Prince George, David. All right, Amy Robach, live at the Met. And move out of the way. You're making me nervous there with the traffic. We love you, Amy.